a love muffins. It's Visco. <laughs> I am so excited. Oh my God. I have Marcus Patrick in the house. As you know, he was my 2007 future baby daddy of the year. <laughs> And it was, I was going back today and looking at the post and I was like, oh my God, it's almost a year since I first featured you on the site. And here you are. This is such a moment for me and my love muffin. Okay. <laughs> well, thank you for having me. Um, hi, love muffins. So you All started right. out. You were doing All My Children. That was the first soap opera that you did. Yeah. And then that lasted for a while. And then something just happened and that kind of just fell apart a little bit. Um, you had a dis um, creative differences. What is mm. the creative differences? He was saying to me, you know, we're going to build your character. We're going to, you know, give you a really good um, exposure, a great storyline. I was like, okay. So they twisted my arm a little bit. My agent was like, do it, Marcus. And then when I started the, the show, there was, that was not happening right off the bat. Like the first day I worked, I worked and I didn't work for like two weeks after the show. So it was like one day on then two weeks off. And they introduced me with this very terribly written storyline which felt like someone had put it together within two minutes before I showed up. And I was just like, okay, this already just doesn't feel right. And then the storyline for me, I mean, as an actor, you really enjoy certain bits and pieces of material, and some are not so great. And it was like one of it was one of those sort of lower end. Of so that my so favorites. that so that ended, and then you started with Days of Our Lives. Yeah. Okay. And then everything with that was going well. It was all right until you did until I did play. play what Actually, may, okay, well, let's just do a sidebar here. What? Makes you just out of the blue decide I'm gonna do Playgirl. Did they call you? Yeah, they did. They called me and a publicist and said, mm -hmm. you know, we wanted you to do it. And I was like, no. And then they said, you know, you will get a lot of exposure from this mm -hmm. because a lot of actors have played, a lot. including, mm -hmm. you know, David Hasselhoff, Burn mm -hmm. Lancaster. Because the post that I posted the pictures on my website, lovebeescott.com, yeah. that was one of the most viewed posts ever wow. on the site. Huh. I didn't know. So yeah. I mean, I know that it's even sold, to this day, it sold like I think almost two million. They said it might have been one of the biggest sellers mm -hmm. ever. How was the shoot when you were on set and everything? Did they make you comfortable with? Yeah, actually, it was just um, having you ding ding out. Just at first, I was like, "Wow, I'm really going there. I'm really doing this." Mm -hmm. And no, but the clause was no full frontal nudity in uh, in any of the pictures. Mm -hmm. So those shots that you got of the ding ding, so to speak, it was like uh, a silhouette. Was actually yeah. And they weren't even supposed to be in there. <laughs> oh, really? It was not supposed to be approved. Yeah. Until I had seen them. But they went ahead and published it. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm so happy they did. I do love You see? That's my thing. I don't know why people are so afraid of their bodies and their, you know, and you're free with yours. You're well, like, in you England, know. We're, we're raised a little differently as well so that mm -hmm. we don't get so caught up with it. Like, I, I have to be honest, I found the whole um, outrage with Janet Jackson's uh, nipple mm -hmm. to be like, Ridiculous! Like, mm -hmm. okay, big deal. We just seen a little tiny nipple in the middle of a with piece a, of jewelry. With a clamp. <laughs> I was like, well, yeah. Why are you gonna get all stressed out out of that? Everyone sucks on the nipple at some point. Yeah, like, but I think it whether was, you're I, sucking on it for fun or you're <laughs> sucking on it because you're a baby and you need milk, you suck a nipple. But the thing is, I think it was this, it was unexpected. It's on a Sunday afternoon, I think, and people are watching this with I the kids. It was great. You know what I mean? Just a little, a little titty. I mean, it's like I was like, I was shocked a little bit. I mean, I wasn't, I wasn't obsessed by it. I, I was, it was like, great. you know. I thought it was great. I was right. like, go Janet. It was a wonderful sense of her actually just being free. Mm -hmm. And if anything, mm -hmm. I wish that people would have gotten by her, gone behind her and supported her through it because mm -hmm. it was like, then there was the statement of they retracted it. Oh, it was a malfunction. And then you're right. like, come on, man. That's no malfunction. Malfunction. Yeah, 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 having yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> just, it was just, it was like, yeah. no, I didn't do it. I yeah. just, it just did it by accident. Mm -hmm. I felt like had we just pushed and for just it to be an it. owned it. Yeah. Then people would, may have sort of grown up a little bit like, mm -hmm. yeah, we are kind of getting a little ridiculous over a nipple. Mm -hmm. That's what I feel. Right. And I'm always going to, that's just my truth. I'm sorry. Right. If you don't like me for that, I mean, it's, 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 I mean, it's 
cool, but I think it was just a nipple on a Sunday afternoon. You just like, I, even me, and I'm very... <laughs> Sunday afternoon is the best time for nipple, you just like... <laughs> Because sometimes in the entertainment industry, you look at what people are responding to, yeah. and then you're like, oh my God, that's what I should do. Exactly. And we've just but I sent some important messages out to these people, <laughs> right? Yeah. So in order to make sure they watch it, we got to like do a bit of this. <laughs> <laughs> because this edit right here, right? We got to do a little bit oh, of no. booty. I think that's what they need. <laughs> okay, so now, now you've seen that, maybe you'll listen to something <laughs> sensible. In the grand scheme of things, there is kind of like a, a god or a force or the universe or a, or a destiny, or whatever people relate to in terms of those words, that determines where your blessings are going to come from. And your job is to keep showing up and keep on doing your best. You know, fall down, get back up, go again, until eventually you have that blessing. And I've had, you know, a lot of blessings that people are like, oh, wow, you got so to attract but they don't see all the yeah. disappointments. Oh, uh, you've got oh, about. I understand. Yeah, you got like at least ten to twenty disappointments before you get one payoff. Right. And you know Taekwondo, right? Oh, I'm extremely dangerous oh if I God. wanted to be, Ooh. but I just don't. I, you know, I don't want to be. Beat me. <laughs> you don't want it. I don't want to live my life as a vicious beast. Mm -hmm. um, I know I was capable of being a great fighter. Mm -hmm. And I'm still good at, if I needed to defend myself. But when you really investigate which men inspired us as a race of people, mm -hmm. it's the men that were able to use their minds tuned into their hearts. They had mm -hmm. intellect, but their hearts were at the forefront of their mission. Like Martin Luther King, Gandhi, Jesus, all these great men that were trying to teach us as a race of people globally mm -hmm. how to move forward and be better. I mean, I feel a little bit of that from Barack Obama. I mm -hmm. literally do feel that he has that essence. And you dance because what it helps pay the bills. It's yes. artistic, keeps you in shape. Yeah, it's it's the like outlet. okay, I don't drink, so I, I'm a terrible bartender. Mm -hmm. um, I used to bartend. You do? You don't drink at all? No, I don't drink. No. It just makes me feel sick, man. I mean, okay. if you analyze that scientifically, which I'll start doing, mm -hmm. uh, about ten milliliters, which is about that much right there, mm -hmm. is gonna kill uh, ten thousand brain cells. <laughs> Yeah, right. So, no, but it just don't make me feel good. Mm -hmm. So, I just never got into it. And I've always been into dancing and um, being an exhibitionist, showboating. Mm -hmm. It's just been a way of life for me ever mm -hmm. since I was a 17 year old and joined a, a boy band. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you were in a boy band at 17? Yeah, wow. yeah. <laughs> yeah, I did little little moves too. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Actually, I look more like you with this hairstyle. You had longer hair. I had long hair like wow. that. Yeah. So, but you and I could be brothers. Yeah, I see this. Yeah, yeah. I mean, all like the multiracial people look like we could be related. Yeah. You know, I would just um. Oh, Stefan. Yeah. Stefan. Yeah. Stephen, yeah, yeah. Steph, um, Stephen Jones. And you know Jordan Sparks, we all kind of look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, even Halle Berry. You know, you're, the, you're, the, you're the prettiest. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah. I try. I mean, hey, hey, what about them eyelashes? They're my eyelashes. They are totally mine. People, <laughs> this boy got some like long, pretty eyelashes. So you know, gay people, as they obviously have to, they've they've been in society for mm -hmm. a long time, but hidden and repressed and shy and protecting their lives. Mm -hmm. I wonder, from me, from, from a theoretic scientist's point of view, mm -hmm. if gay people are actually um, a, a spawn from the human race designed to help evolution. Because mm -hmm. if you look at their artistic view, mm -hmm. you know, on the world and their stamp in music, mm -hmm. uh, film, TV, um, and fashion, you know that there is a particular trend to mm -hmm. them as a people, and. Mm -hmm. They're not necessarily like my gay friends will call me a breeder. So mm -hmm. it's not the goal to go and breed and have mm -hmm. children in the gay community. Mm -hmm. So if you look at like colonies of bees, wasps, and ants, and different um, animals, mm -hmm. there's always different roles. Like mm -hmm. in, in a, a beehive that works mm -hmm. harmoniously, you have right. certain bees that tend to the queen, and certain ones that tend to the honey, and certain mm -hmm. ones that mate, and then some that are soldiers. And, right. And they, they, they respect each other. Mm -hmm. So you're saying it may, may be like a... Well, I mean, this is I like, just feel like we we got to figure out yeah. what I think it is, why gay people right. need more respect and it yeah. needs to be public. I think uh, you definitely shocked me. I really? mean, I'm not that I underestimated you. Right. I just didn't know how profound it would be. It's like, you mm -hmm. know, you're sitting here, I'm just listening. I'm like, okay, you know, it's like, right. and it's making you even more sexy. 
Like to know that you actually have yeah, something sounds, to say. That's Barry White like, on it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it makes you even more sexy because a lot of times people just assume it's because you're very attractive and you don't have anything to say. But boy, do you have something to say? You actually know what you're saying, what you're talking about. Well, you have a perspective. I have a perspective. You may not agree. I mean, a person may not agree with everything you're saying, no, no. but you at least articulate yourself in a way that people can begin to understand, yes. even though they may not agree. We agree, yeah. Oh, I got some gifts for you. Oh, wow. Uh, okay. Gifts. Got some gifts for you. I like gifts. Yeah, yeah. First of all, oh my goodness. See, this is one of the, I mean, this company ain't paying me to endorse them, but what this is, is this? one of my bars that I eat every day. And I wanted you to have it. It's green chai. Green chai. It's like chocolate energy bar. Chocolate energy bar. Yeah, oh my it's, goodness. It's so good. I have like two of those every day, minimum. Wow, okay. Because, and it uh, has a lot of carbs in it too? Um, medium. But, right you know, people don't realize that you can have carbohydrate. But the good kind. If it's a good kind. Right. Because your heart and your lungs and mm -hmm. your brain Need all it. function off of glycogen, which is carbs. Mm. So if you don't give yourself carbs, you're going to have a bad day. Like, almost right. like I did today. Right. Um, then this is my, uh, this is the first press of oh, my wow. album. It's not fully mixed yet, See, this but is, you get... Oh my goodness. See, what's, what's going on right here? What's all this? See? That's why I call See? myself Cheeky you get the Rascal. Cheeky Rascal. Yeah. <laughs> you don't know what that is. No, right? I don't. What's Cheeky Rascal? Cheeky Rascal in England is kind of like... Uh, do, do, do. Yeah. It's oh, kind of like um, okay. uh, uh, um, a person who's like you. You're a Cheeky Rascal. A Cheeky Rascal. What does that mean? So it's like a Cheeky a, Rascal is someone who's... A feisty you know, little devil. A feisty little devil, yeah. Mm -hmm. Someone's going to talk the truth and be a little cheeky. Mm -hmm. A little bit of a ham, but, okay. you know. A little tease. A little, little tease. tease. Yeah, okay. cheeky rascal. Mm -hmm. I brought you a copy of Descent, which oh, is a wow. movie. Have you seen that? No, I haven't. Oh, okay. But Rosario Dawson, I haven't yeah. read of it. Okay, Descent. Yeah, Descent. At first I thought I had it upside down. No. But I didn't. Yeah. Uh, She's so beautiful. She is. Wow, she could be our sister as well. And then I brought you two calendars just in oh case you want to. Oh my goodness, I should do a giveaway. These are naughty. I should do a giveaway. It's, they're naughty. Well, if you look from the back. Oh my okay. goodness, I don't know if I can do it. I can't put this on YouTube, it might be banned. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow. Ooh. Goodness. You do have a nice. Do my best. It says you call the bagel buns. You have nice bagel buns in addition to uh, the ding ding. If people want to get in contact with you, how can they get in contact with you? Go to uh, MySpace forward slash Marcus Patrick or my website, which is Marcus-Patrick.com. Mm -hmm. For bookings too? Yes, there's booking information there. My agent Gar will always, um, you know, he's always as, as helpful as possible, but keeps my rate high so I can right. pay my bills. I know that's right. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. cool. Well, thank you so much for coming by. Thank you um, and of course, I always do my double kisses. I'll hold your hand, but oh. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Love Muffins, please subscribe to my YouTube videos and log on to lovebscott.com.